<coughs> Hello viewers and welcome to my channel and today's topic is ring worms you know? uh, but before starting this topic I would like to request you to like subscribe and share these videos to support this channel uh, and the subscribe button is just below this video uh, is a red button you know so do not forget to click that and uh, there's a link for the website as well just below this video you know now I come to the topic uh, the topic is of ringworms. What is ringworm? Well, it's also known as uh, uh, dermatophytosis, you know, which is the medical name, you know, and the most common name is the ringworm infection, you know, or maybe the tinea, you know. It's a fungal infection. And uh, the name ringworm is uh, like uh, a misnomer since the infection is caused by the fungus, you know, not by the worm, you know. So the ringworm infection can affect both humans and animals and the infection initially presents with uh, red patches on the affected areas of the skin and later spreads to other parts of the body, you know. And the infection may affect the skin of the scalp, of the feet, of the groin, or the beard, or any other area, you know. And uh, uh, symptoms, uh, uh, they vary uh, depending on where you're infect, uh, you are infected, you know. And uh, with the skin infection, you may experience uh, like the red, itchy, scaly, and the raised patches, you know. Uh, patches that develop blisters or uh, begin to ooze, you know. Or the patches that may be uh, redder than the outside edges, you know, and uh, resembles a ring, you know. And uh, uh, patches with the edges that are uh, defined and raised, you know. And uh, if you are experiencing uh, this condition, in your nails they may become thicker or maybe discolored or uh, they may begin to crack you know and if the scalp is affected uh, the hair round uh, it may uh, break or may fall off you know and the bald patches may develop you know uh, you know ringworm can go uh, by the different names depending on the part of the body which is affected like uh, uh, ringworm of the scalp is known as tinea capitis, you know, and uh, the ring of the body known as tinea corpus, and uh, uh, this other type is known as tinea curus, you know, which is the ring worm infection of the skin around the groin, uh, inner thighs, and the buttocks, you know, and it's the most common in the uh, men and uh, uh, like teenager boys, you know. Athlete's foot, which is known as tinea pedis, you know, is the most common name of the ringworm infected with the foot, you know. And uh, it is frequently seen in the people who go barefooted in public places where the infection can spread, you know, and such as the locker rooms or the showers and the swimming pools, you know. Now, there are different types of the fungi that can cause the infection. And uh, they are called like uh, uh, trichophyton, you know or microsporum or maybe epidermophyton, you know. So it's possible that uh, these fungi may live for an extended period uh, of uh, time, you know, uh, in the soil, you know. And the humans and animals uh, can uh, contract after the direct contact with this soil, you know, and the infection can also spread through the contact with infected animals or the humans, you know. And uh, the infection is commonly spread among the children and by the by sharing the items that uh, may not be clean, you know. Uh, anyone can, can develop, you know. Uh, but the infection is very common among the children and the people with the, who own the pets, and, like cats, etc., you know. And both the cats and the dogs uh, can catch the ringworm and then pass to the humans uh, who touch them, you know. And the signs to be... Uh, aware of uh, in pets include like hairless patches like crusty skin you know or patches you know and patches that may not be completely hairless but uh, have the like brittle or broken hairs you know opaque or like whitish areas uh, uh, over the claws you know and these are the signs and symptoms in, in case of uh, pets you know and you may be more likely to develop uh, this condition if you come into contact with the fungi while you are wet or uh, if you have minor skin injuries or maybe abrasions, you know. And using a public uh, shower or the public pool uh, 
areas may also expose yourself to the infection you know and if you're often uh, barefooted you may develop ringworm on the foot you know it's known as athlete's foot you know and uh, those who often share items such as the hair brushes or uh, unwashed clothing also have an increased risk of developing the infection you know your doctor will diagnose the ringworm by examining your skin and possibly using the like uh, a black light to view your skin in the uh, like uh, affected area you know and the fungus will uh, fluorescence which means it will glow you know under the black light so if you are infected uh, the area of the skin where the fungus is located will glow you know and your doctor may confirm a suspected diagnosis uh, by requesting the certain tests like uh, a skin biopsy, a fungal culture, or maybe more, you know. And your doctor take a, in case of biopsy, your doctor take a piece of uh, your skin or maybe discharge from the blister and uh, send to the lab for the uh, microscopic examination, you know. And if you are getting uh, uh, a KOH examination, you know, which means your doctor will scrape a small area of the infected skin and place it uh, in the potassium hydroxide, you know, uh, whose symbol is KOH, you know. So the KOH destroys the normal cells and leaves the fungal cells untouched, you know. So they are easy to see under the microscope. So these are the tests your doctor will uh, order to diagnose the fungal infections, you know. Uh, once you diagnose then the treatment uh, will be like medications like tropical medications uh, and uh, maybe over-the-counter medications are also available you know which are can successfully treat the fungal infections and uh, uh, the medications are like uh, ketoconazole you know uh, they are effective one and uh, uh, in addition to the prescription medications you know well your doctor may prescribe in severe case your doctor may prescribe you when the topical medications are not working you may prescribe the oral antifungal medications you know uh, but it has many side effects uh, it can affect the liver and the organs you know so mostly uh, your doctor will not uh, uh, prescribe these unless needed you know and then he has to uh, keep a close eye on the liver function tests you know okay so in addition to the prescription and over over the counter medications uh, uh, there are some home remedies like uh, avoiding the clothing that uh, irritates the skin area uh, like uh, cover it with the bandage if you are unable to avoid any clothing that irritates the area you know uh, wash the bedding and clothes daily during the infection and uh, disinfect it you know and uh, clean and dry your skin regularly you know. so this way you can improve your symptoms you know well, the skin medications uh, uh, may clear the ringworm in two to four weeks, you know, but if you are experiencing the severe dermatophytosis, uh, you know, uh, that is not responding to over-the-counter medications or the treatment at home, you know, you should consult your doctor for the prescription antifungal nail polishes, you know, uh, or maybe uh, antifungal pills, you know, uh, to clear up the infection and the most people respond positively to the treatment, you know. Well, you can prevent uh, this by practicing a healthy and uh, hygienic behaviors you know and the many infections come from uh, contract with the animals and lack of proper hygiene you know so avoid these things so uh, it helps to uh, prevent the spread you know uh, thank you very much for watching this video if you need more information about any disease or any medical condition you can visit my website which is www.diseasesandtreatment.com thank you and goodbye